MB Micah, Israeli officials say they have regained control of their border around Gaza while carrying out crippling airstrikes against the heavy populated area. Now, tonight, President Biden acknowledging that at least 20 Americans are missing following Saturday's attack by Hamas militants on Israeli towns in the country's south. Authorities there describing unimaginable atrocities. We have to warn you, some of these images are disturbing. Over southern Israel, the chilling sound of air raid sirens blare for a fourth straight night. Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system intercepting thousands of Hamas-fired rockets since Saturday, when militants launched a brutal and shocking attack on Jewish civilians, killing some 1,000 men, women, and children. Israeli defense forces retaliating with relentless airstrikes on the densely populated Gaza Strip, an area of about 140 square miles with a population of roughly 2 million, but controlled by Hamas terrorists. <laughs> Palestinian civilians caught in the crossfire, buildings reduced to rubble, more than 900 killed, thousands more displaced, the death toll rising with each new strike. This harrowing body cam video released Tuesday showing the intense gun battle between Israeli soldiers and Hamas militants in southern Israel Saturday after Hamas invaded the Jewish state, killing and kidnapping people at random, including Americans. This was an act of sheer evil. More than 1,000 civilians slaughtered, not just killed, slaughtered in Israel. Among them, at least 14 American citizens killed. President Biden pledging unwavering support for Israel. We must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. The president sending in the USS Ford Carrier Strike Group to deter other adversaries in the region, like Iran, from taking advantage of Israel's turmoil. Security camera video showing how Hamas militants waited for civilians to approach the gated community of Barry then ambushing and executing the driver before storming the settlement. Israeli forces say more than 100 civilians were killed here alone. Who could do this? They must have shed their humanity and what's left is something inhuman. To see baby carriages with bullet holes in them and blood. Who goes up to a baby and kills a baby? Who kills a mother? I, I see the bodies in their homes. More than 150 hostages taken into Gaza, at least 20 believed to be American. Hamas now threatening to execute them on camera. I knew immediately wherever he was, it was a terrible situation. Rachel Goldberg is referring to her 22-year-old son, Hirsch, who was born in Los Angeles but had moved to Israel with his family. He was at the music festival where hundreds were killed by Hamas on Saturday. That morning, she received two text messages from him. The first one said, I love you. And immediately at 8-11 also, it said, I'm sorry. This as Israel is calling up 360,000 reservists with troops amassing near the border of Lebanon and for a possible ground attack in Gaza. It is just after 8 a.m. in Tel Aviv. Israeli forces have just given an update saying the death toll there has risen to 1,200 people since Saturday's attack, some 2,700 wounded. Roughly 300,000 Israeli troops are now on the border with Gaza. Israeli authorities also saying that additional troops have been deployed along Israel's northern border with Lebanon to counter attacks against Hezbollah. In the News Center, I'm John Finolio, MB Micah. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.